friends, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Joy of Life Legacy Challenge Generation 2 or welcome in if you're new. The twins are downstairs this morning just having a little bit of a chat before they head into school for the day. It looks like their mum has joined them too. And yeah, it's Friday today, which means these guys have their exams at school and they've actually been studying quite a bit, so I think they'll do okay. However, I'm not going to actively force them to study anymore. My friend G did actually point out that Ginger is like very studious and that wasn't actually my plan. It's just that I am really bad at remembering to not force them to do that. So from now on, I will not be making these guys study. If you see me making them study or do the homework, Tell me off, okay? <laughs> it's nearly time for them to go to school. Uh, Florence likes stories, sure. And we are going to join them for their exams today. So let's follow both of these guys into school and have them take their exams. Okay, wow. Whoa. <laughs> we have arrived at school. I did actually go ahead and get the mod that allows more students in your high school. So... We've got all these friends to make now. I also just wanted to say, I know that this is a completely different high school. We're going to ignore that fact, okay? We're going to pretend like this isn't a completely different high school, okay? This is the high school that they've always been at. Okay, I suppose now is as good a time as any to head in. <gasps> There's a T-Post challenge! Oh my goodness. Let's join the T-Post challenge. No, she stopped. That's so unlucky. Oh, it's time to head off to class anyway now. That's really unfortunate. She was like so close to <laughs> getting there too. Oh, I'm so sad. But it is what it is. Oh well. And everyone is heading off to class now. It's so nice seeing the high school just full of sims. Like, this is so realistic. Here goes our exam. Ginger's already got her little booklet out and is getting started i don't like that they get up yeah can you can you sit down can you sit down and take your exam also i did want to say that saffron is actually quite sick florence is sick i sent her into work today but i probably should have sent her home from work oh i feel bad okay she's left early i'm gonna make sure she takes care of herself and rests and there we go our first exam is all done Saffron needs to pee and we are going to come down to the cafeteria though because I want to like talk to some people. Maybe we can just order some something small. Um, Just like a tortilla wrapped veggie dog. Yeah, why not? I'll get Saffron to come and get something after. Alright, I am keeping my eye out for Sims doing tea pose challenges. This school is just so big. I feel like I'm going to struggle to keep an eye on everyone but Besides doing a T-Post challenge, we do have to make more friends and Ginger is definitely more than capable of doing that. There are some Sims here that we have met but we're not friends of anymore for some reason. Like, we've met Maeve before. We met her at the boba shop but perhaps she's transferred to our school. So let's reintroduce ourselves. Some of our friends are already over here. Maybe we can come sit with these guys. There we go. Let's say hi to them. We're gonna gossip about a classmate and then propose a crazy scheme but then we will have to go ahead and introduce ourselves to some other sims and it looks like this girl is sitting across from us it looks like she's a cheerleader so why don't we introduce ourselves to her like hi i'm ginger uh, what's your name she's like oh i'm emery but she doesn't like us <laughs> we think she's emotionally expressive though which is nice i am gonna keep talking to her because they got like half of friendship bar already um she thinks we're annoying <gasps> wait oh my goodness you know how i was saying that Maeve like transferred here ginger just said to pepino i heard Maeve was expelled from every other school and copperdale was the last resort before boarding school <gasps> all right it's time to take your second exam of the day i wonder how you two will do i'm hoping that saffron will actually stay sat down this time are you gonna go in you're really not feeling well, are you? Oh, my poor baby. Okay, there we go. School is all done for the day. We did not do any of like the tasks. So we've not had the best high school like day, <laughs> but that's all right. So 
Saffron had a rough exam day, they might want to study harder, but to be honest, they've been feeling so unwell. They probably should have stayed off school today so that they recovered faster, but Ginger did really well on her exams. Saffron's got this little tense mood that says it wasn't the absolute worst score Saffron could have gotten, but they've definitely got to do more work to improve their grades for the next exam, whereas Ginger is super happy because she aced it, she's reached the pinnacle of high school academic achievements, the top score on the exam. <gasps> what? Maybe you're just naturally super duper smart. Maybe you're actually a genius. All right, while we've got some time at school, Saffron does want to play the piano. Ginger just got a festering grudge sentiment with Juniper. I wonder if Juniper is the school bully. Well, it looks like those two don't like each other anymore. And... <laughs> So Saffron is eligible for early graduation? I don't think so, not after those marks on their exam. <laughs> but they're just having to go on the piano now, it looks like they're having fun. Come on, I know some of you want to do a T-pose challenge. Never mind, let's introduce ourselves to some of the students that are just hanging around. After school, we've grabbed ourselves some food and we're just sitting down in the classroom. Yeah, Juniper has to be the school bully. And Saffron is late for their after school club, so go on. You need to head on out. Oh my god, I wish Juniper would go away. <laughs> she keeps having a go at Ginger. Maybe we should fight her. Who do you think would win? Wow, we're gonna tease her about being unpopular. She's gonna be like, look, Juniper, just because you have no friends and I have loads, it doesn't mean you can pick on me, okay? You're just jealous <laughs> that I'm popular and you're not popular. Oh my god, Juniper also mocked her body hair. Groomed hair can look sophisticated and elegant, but some sims don't see it that way, and those sims really made sure Ginger understood why. That is so horrible. <laughs> Ginger's like, right, I've had enough. I'm going outside to play in the rain. I don't want to be at school anymore today. Like, I did really well on my exams, but the school bully is being really horrible to me. So, honestly, I think we'll just send this girl home. She's feeling very confident from exams, but yeah, we'll send her on her way. Okay, we are back home now. Florence has been resting a bit and she's feeling much better and is slowly recovering from her illness, which is good. She's going to be fully recovered in about 11 hours time. As for our lovely little Saffron, <laughs> is going to be fully recovered in about an hour. Ginger actually got invited out to go to a concert with Emery, who is her new school friend. So we need to find a way there. She could ask for permission or try to leave and hope no one catches her. Now, I feel as though her parents are quite protective and they'd be like, you can't go to a concert. Like you're only 15 years old. <laughs> you can't go on your own. Like we have to come with you. And obviously being the cool kid that she is, I think she's gonna sneak out to this concert without telling her parents. It looks like Oliver just left the mac and cheese on the floor. Why don't you go ahead and finish that since you wanted to eat it so bad this morning. Oh, there we go. Okay, Saffron is fully recovered now. I'm so glad to hear it. Saffron also has this one of ordering a pizza. I think we will finally do that. We'll order some dinner in, you know, because Florence still isn't feeling very well either. So let's go ahead and order a delivery of pizza. I think Ginger is going to go ahead and post on her Instagram story. Where are you putting that plate? <laughs> nice, you take a picture of your sibling. And everyone has a new popularity status. Okay, popularity during the high school years equates to social status. Being popular can open up both admiration, jealousy, emulation, and annoyance from peers. And Saffron is now popular and it looks as though Ginger's showing Saffron the pictures she just took of them. Why don't we go ahead and see if we can post on social bunny. Okay, it looks like we can. We can post about orientation. We didn't have an orientation, but we're going to post about it anyway. Um, we'll do a, I don't know, a energized narrative. First today energy everyone's buzzing about, sure, if you say so. <laughs> I think what we'll do now is go ahead and send Ginger out to the concert. Um, I don't know how you sneak out. Oh, the pizza's here. Okay, come and take the pizza. <laughs> it doesn't look like we can sneak out anymore. Oh, I'm sad about that. I really wanted her to go on out, but it looks like she's sending herself off to bed because she's quite tired. 
Saffron's got their pizza. We'll pop it on the table and then we'll see who else is hungry and see if anyone else would like some food. I'm going to take this off because we did grab ourselves a pizza. I feel like Saffron has gained like popularity because their twin sister is like a popular girl and you know what Saffron is actually quite a cool person like they're super into art and they're super like free-spirited so it makes sense that they would also be popular as well they've got a nice personality and like they're they are pretty outgoing like their twin so it's nice to see that Saffron's getting their flowers too but for now we will send them off to bed they are tired we haven't got school tomorrow as it is the weekend so we'll have to see if any of our friends are free to hang out but yeah i think i'm gonna send everyone off to bed as everyone is quite tired good morning Maisie has woken up this morning a call saying that her close friend devon holloway has passed away Oh my god, this is so sad. If any of you guys don't know, Maisie had a really like close-knit group of friends and those it, those friends included Gia, Imani, Theo and Devon and those guys were literally as close as anyone could be and unfortunately Devon has passed away. It does say here that if Devon was so angry she burst into flames and died. Oh, it looks as though Maisie is obviously going to be spending the day mourning. She's lost a very dear friend and everyone in the family will be completely understanding if she is like not in the mood to do anything in particular today, that she'll have to take this day for herself. I do think we will actually meditate and think on like all of our treasured memories with Devon and oh, this is so sad. Yeah, oh, it's okay, Maisie. You've got your family here to support you. I think today we will actually head out with our friends. Um, we'll add Theo back to this group and just spend some time with those guys. Saffron and Ginger are going to sleep in for a bit. It's only six in the morning, so they don't need to get up just yet. Although, Saffron does need to pee really bad, so off you go. <laughs> you could also probably have a shower while you're at it and then get back into bed. Lawrence is also nearly fully rested. I'm sure that... Maisie will need some comfort today and Florence is more than happy to provide it to her. She does have work so I guess she's getting up and hopping in the shower. <laughs> as it's the weekend, Ginger and Saffron don't have any homework as they had exams on the Friday. I want to get Ginger onto her video station and do some editing if that's possible. Yeah, we can edit the video that she made the other day so she made like a confident vlog about wanting to create food content we'll also have a look at the trends oh and she's sad too because she obviously knew her mom's best friends and it's sad that one of them has passed away and obviously seeing her mom upset is making her upset too but oh it'll be okay so we're just having a look at the current video trends seeing what is happening in the world of sims tube and we've got travel inspired vlog rocket science and acting okay well that's not what we've got but that's okay <laughs> Aww, i think ginger is going outside to ask oliver for some advice he's feeling very sad about the loss of devon so i really want to be friends with someone but they don't seem to want to be friends with me how can i make them my friend um oliver would just say just keep being friendly keep being yourself <laughs> for some reason he's put the washing outside i don't know why he's done that we'll put it away though we're gonna get Maisie to come and give ginger a little bit of a hug and then we'll also discuss sad mood and let her know you know if she ever needs to talk about her feelings we are here for her oh hopefully you guys will feel a bit better soon i definitely want to console Maisie about the loss of her friend too oh okay mom like we've got your back we're here for you and Maisie is feeling a lot better now that you know she's talked to her family a little bit which is nice I like that ginger is all done with breakfast we are just hanging out with our hamster a little bit I feel like I should name him but I have no idea to what maybe something food related I'm gonna call him almond 
Uh, Yaz is calling Maisie, probably just to check in on her. That's very nice of her. We're going to take that call. But then after Ginger has finished talking to Almond for a bit, we are going to try and edit this video and hopefully not ruin it at all. All. I know that if you edit a video on the station it can sometimes make it worse <laughs> so but you know she's got to start somewhere she's got to learn how to edit videos somehow so Ginger is editing her first ever video learning her way around the software on her computer and it seems as though she's quite interested in it it's, it takes a long time to learn how to edit videos and become like efficient in the program you're using um, but I'm sure she'll get there in no time I wonder if afterwards we could film a product reviews for some gadgets. Maybe Maisie and Florence have bought her some little kitchen supplies and she's doing like a quick little review video of the things that they got her that she can use in her food vlogs and her like cooking videos. I think that would be really nice but for now I'll let her crack on with editing this video. For Ginger's generation we do actually have to become a level 3 celebrity and did you do a good job wait let me have a look <gasps> you did oh my goodness right okay i wonder if we can upload this video i was just gonna say that for ginger's generation we do have to be a level three celebrity and i'm hoping that from posting a couple of videos she'll be able to achieve the newcomer status which is the first level and from then we'll be able to buy a perk which means the more videos she posts the more like fame she'll gain which fits in so well for our little story so why don't we go ahead and upload this vlog i think it's finally time ginger is ready to put her foot in the door in the way of content and put her first proper video out there oh, i'm so proud of her okay the video has been uploaded expect daily royal payments for how many views it gets now we're gonna go ahead and reply to some comments Apps. we've got a couple from our friends who have watched it straight away and then we'll also hype up our next video as we're about to record it our product review okay there we go we gained 125 followers from that as well so we've nearly got 500 followers however she's not having much fun she's gonna cry out in bed i thought you enjoyed making videos but she's gonna have a little cry and then we'll see what we can do in the way of having a little bit of fun afterwards I think Maisie is actually going to go ahead and just invite her friends over. Um, they can have just a nice cup of tea at Maisie's house. I'm going to remove Florence because she's at work. And then for some reason I can't add Theo back to this group. <laughs> so I'll just add, like invite him around separately. All right, Maisie's asking Theo if he would like to join the group again. So he is part of our little club. Oh, I'm so happy to have him back in. Florence is also home from work now, which is nice. And yeah, it's just lovely that everyone is here to sort of comfort each other and celebrate Devon's life. I'm going to go ahead and buy a kettle, even though it makes Oliver freak out. <laughs> Maisie's going to come and brew a big pot of tea for them all to enjoy together. All right, I've gotten Ginger to go ahead and start her product review. It's literally like a stereo <laughs> which i think is so funny and she's also just like staring at the camera not saying anything but we'll see how she does on this one so theo has actually brought his son over and this is little mika <laughs> oh isn't he a cutie pie we're gonna get Maisie and florence to introduce themselves to him now we'll do a friendly introduction to him hi there little one I'm your dad's best friend <laughs> and I also want Maisie to come and do the same. We'll come and do a friendly little introduction to Mika here. Oh, he's so cute. Maisie's grabbed herself a cup of tea and then we'll just come and say hi to the baby. How oh, very cute. Oh my goodness, we're definitely gonna have to talk to Theo a bit about his baby boy and how big he is already and how much he looks like him and Vanessa like obviously that makes sense like <laughs> that's his parents but he is like the spinning image Florence is gonna come and grab herself some tea oh never mind we'll have to brew another pot because everyone has already had it and everyone seems to be making cake I'm gonna just like destroy these but it's been a nice evening I'm glad everyone could come over perfect Oh no, she doesn't dislike it. She's just sad from, you know, losing someone in their 
in their like immediate circle <laughs> you do like media production i promise and just decided to get herself a cup of tea but i actually think i'm gonna get her to get some real food because she's quite hungry yeah why don't you grab that and then i think i'm gonna get everyone's needs sorted out they're all feeling a bit all over the place today obviously understandably they've been through a lot but Maisie is super glad that all her friends could come over and just spend some time with her they're probably like talking about Devon's funeral and things like that I've never had a funeral in game and I don't plan on having one for like a friend if I'm gonna do any I think we for family members only but when we come and give Gia a hug and just say you know we're always here for you um if you ever need to talk about anything you, you're welcome at our house anytime just like give me a call and i'll pop around to you or you can come here but yeah we'll just say goodbye to our friends now and then we shall head off to bed what what <laughs> oh my god yaz got married to ren grove <gasps> Maisie, you are not going to sleep you are calling up your sibling you have a little chat maybe they have something that they need to tell you <laughs> right okay well okay Yaz is sleeping right now let's send Maisie to bed then I think tomorrow we will head out for some family lunch or just to spend some time together as family because I can't believe that Yaz got married and they didn't tell anyone <laughs> but anyway yeah I'm gonna send everyone off to bed Ginger is the final one to get in and yeah then it's Sunday when we wake up we'll do some chores around the house we've got some laundry to do and then we shall head out for some food to question Yaz about when she got married. Oliver is the first one up this morning. He had a long night's sleep last night. He just repaired the toilet and he actually reached level 10 in the handiness skill. Oh my god, I'm so proud of him. He's now currently upgrading it to be self-cleaning. <laughs> How nice. All right. I wonder if anyone else is nearly ready to get up this morning. Maisie's pretty much fully rested. I actually think I'm going to get her to come downstairs and make some breakfast food for everyone to have this morning. Florence can sleep in a bit longer so can Saffron and wow Ginger really needs way more sleep. Maybe we can get Oliver to come and upgrade her mattress so that she just sleeps better at night. Oliver's gonna have to come and do some laundry as it is completely full to the top. There's just clothing everywhere. So we definitely need to do some chores this morning. It is the Spring Arts Festival. I am thinking that we could head into the city or perhaps somewhere else to a venue or a museum of some sort just so that we can celebrate the Spring Arts Fest. And then we can also have some lunch out, you know, whilst we're there. We're definitely going to invite Yaz. They have a lot. Of, <laughs> they have a lot of explaining to do. I can't believe that they got married. Oh my goodness! But for now, we will just clean up the house a little bit while these three sleep in for a bit longer. Oh my god, I was wondering what this poking through the wall was, and all the trees that Florence planted have finally grown into well, trees, I suppose. And they're all trees of emotion. That is so cool. I'm gonna get Florence up to come and weed them all. And I'm pretty sure they can all be evolved already as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. We've been neglecting our garden the past few days. So we'll definitely come and take care of everything around here. And it seems like the washing machine is broke. Of course it has. Let's um, repair the plumbing. And why don't we go ahead and save <laughs> just in case. We've had one death this week. I don't think we really need another right now. Both the twins are sleeping so poorly in these beds. I think just they're not very good. So why don't we wake them up? I do feel bad because they're not like super well rested. Saffron can come and get some honey toast. And Ginger, are you hungry? Do you know what? You can come and grab some honey toast too. And then Oliver can spend the morning upgrading your beds just so that you guys can sleep a bit better. Ginger has earned some money from her first ever vlog. Oh my goodness, she has earned 145 simoleons and I'm pretty sure we get our daily royalties. I kind of want to get her like a piggy bank or something that she can put money into but I don't really know how that sort of thing works so yeah I don't know if we'll be able to do that. Also in the night Ginger became very 
popular. So Ginger is now very popular. It's as good as it gets. Whether or not she worked hard to get here or she just has that sort of personality, the pinnacle social status has been reached. So she's feeling so good. She's in such a good mood from becoming really, really popular. And I think she's going to just like post a little bit on her social media in a very good mood. So maybe she'll take some selfies and post those. And I think while Oliver is working on our beds, we will actually come and edit the video that we recorded yesterday. Oh, Vanessa has asked us if we'd like to go out to the flea market. We are actually going to decline. Vanessa is being a bit too maybe pally for Maisie's liking, <laughs> but it's nice that she is trying. But Maisie has a couple of things they need to do at home first before they go out anywhere. Oh my god! Okay, so Yaz has called Florence and they want to try for a baby with their new husband. Florence is going to be like, oh my god, go for it. You do what you want to do. And hopefully there'll be a little Yaz running around soon. Oh my god, I was literally thinking the other day that Yaz has been like a bit unlucky in love and they haven't been able to find anyone. But then they literally got married and now they're going to like start a family. I love that for them. I'm so happy. <laughs> Ginger's probably like, oh, granddad, I wish you wouldn't make so much noise while I'm trying to edit this video. And I think Oliver's like, you should be grateful that I'm actually upgrading your bed so that you can have a better night's sleep. You know, I heard you complaining to your mom that, you know, your bed sucks and you're not sleeping well. And Maisie's like, yeah, Ginger, you need to be more grateful. <laughs> I like that they're all hanging out in her bedroom there. And Ginger has managed to reach production, the media production level two. Ginger is learning the ins and outs of producing digital content. She can also add transitions to videos on the video station and has more tracks and remixes available on the music station. So it looks as though she's just wrapping that up. I think she's actually going to show Yaz what she's been working on. And, you know, it, after all, it is Yaz that like inspired her to start all this content creation. Ginger really looks up to Yaz and is really thankful to have like a, a cool like hip family member that they can like talk that she can talk to and inspires her to create content and things like that. They're just telling each other stories now. Ginger does want a nap because she's exhausted but instead I think I will just buy her. I'll treat her to a little potion. Now I'm just going to get some of these guys needs fixed up and then we'll all get ready to head on out to celebrate the spring arts festival now that Yaz is here and yeah we'll go out and have a fun day together. We have arrived in San Myshuno at the art gallery here. We have come over with our sibling to view this cool piece of art. We do have a work assignment to do. We need to cross promote at a venue. I think we will go ahead and do that while we're here. Just take a picture of the gallery and just talk about it a little bit. And there we go. We've done that. It's all ticked off. We can now make a post on Social Bunny as well. Oh, we can make a post about our job. Um, we'll do a confident narrative. Guess who just joined the workforce? Yay! Okay, so we did do another post but for some reason it didn't register so that's two now that we've done i might get all these guys to come up and take part in like a class all together but uh, we're just gonna remove all these other paintings and then get literally everyone to come and paint together so get oliver to do a figure painting we've got Maisie to do a confident painting florence can do a figure painting saffron can do a confident painting and we'll do a landscape painting for ginger we head out for some food with the whole family um it is getting into the like evening now so it'll be soon enough dinner time and then i think yaz will share the big news that they have with everyone ginger has finished her painting it's excellent we're gonna select her creator because we don't really feel like taking it home <laughs> and then if everyone else is nearly finished i think we're just waiting on Maisie. honestly we'll go out straight after we are done here We've arrived at a fancy restaurant in Samaishuno. Maisie is just requesting a table that's hopefully big enough for us all. And I think Yaz is like, so I'm sure some of you are aware um, that I have some big news. I'm really sorry that I didn't invite you guys, but 
I am now married and you know it was a bit of a sudden wedding I just went with the flow but I have found the love of my life Ren and yeah we just got married um <laughs> I think they feel a bit awkward that they didn't invite their family but I suspect they literally just like eloped on the spot and that's why it came out of nowhere and it was just so sudden but perhaps Yaz met Ren while they were touring you know they are a musician and Ren and Yaz just fell in love with each other I think it's a very cute love story actually Yaz is just gonna be like I'll bring yeah Ren to the next gathering and you know you can all meet him but for now let's just enjoy the evening and order some food it's really late already She's probably going to get told off having a phone at the table, but <laughs> she's going to take a quick picture with her family in the background. There we go. Upload it to Instagram. I think everyone is starting to feel quite hungry now. I am going to like cheat the twins' needs up tiny bit so they don't pass out. Oh, Florence is really tired too. Okay. But luckily they're all quite hungry, so hopefully the food arrives soon and then we'll be able to... Oh, wow. It's as if by magic... There we go. I hope you all enjoy your food. Oh my god, it's like experimental. Can we like take a picture? Oh yeah, let's take a photo of our food. Oh my god, I love that. All right, and then let's go ahead and eat our meals. So she took this really nice picture of her sizzled brisket over sour clover salad. We're gonna sell it to a publication and just get a bit of money for it. Everyone else is just finishing up their food and then I think we will get the bill and then head on home. But honestly, like it's been so nice catching up with everyone. Although we have had some tragedy in the save today. It looks as though Maisie is doing okay. Life is obviously passing and these things will become more common as she gets older. But luckily she has her remaining friends and all her family around her to take care of her. And we've got news of Yaz. Um, you know, getting married and possibly having a baby. In the next episode, I do want to try and get Ginger to become a noticeable newcomer. I think we need to upload a few more videos and, you know, just keep posting online before we, you know, reach our first level of fame. I feel like it's quite important to her to become, like, well-known. She's, like, super popular in school. She wants everyone to know her name and she's going to try her best to get herself out there. But I do think this is where I'm going to end today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you liked it, leave a like. It would mean a lot to me. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe. I would appreciate that a lot. Take care, friends. I shall see you in the next episode. Bye!